Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town, and today I'm going to be doing another Draw My Bit Life video, and we have Deja Zuckerberg this time. She's pretty good looking little baby, and she's very healthy, um, but apparently we're not related to Mark Zuckerberg, because our parents are extremely poor. Um, they're also really religious, so that should be interesting. Since Deja is a little below average on the smarts department, I figured as soon as I got her into elementary school, I would try to level her up as much as I can, just so that she has a fighting chance out there in the big old world. Uh, BitLife added pets this time, and so I was really excited to see if I could get her a pet. The only option that you can honestly pick is animal shelter. I'm not even gonna buy from a breeder in a fictional world, because I'm so against that. Um, and immediately, little Rose caught my attention. She's a Persian cat, she's eight years old already, and she's super unhealthy, so I thought maybe Deja could nurse her back to health. This actually turned out pretty well, and we got a good relationship with her really quickly, even though she gave her a bath, which Rose really didn't appreciate. Despite the fact that Rose used Deja as a scratching post, um, they still have a really good relationship, so clearly Deja really loves her. She's also trying to get a better relationship with her dad, so she calls him a god, um, which she doesn't really appreciate, probably because he's pretty religious, so that's kind of a weird compliment. Rose tries to cheer us up by leaving a dead snake on Deja's pillow. Um, the only thing we could really do is train her out of that as best as we can. Cats are really hard on local environments because they're such good predators. That's why it's best to have them indoors if possible. Then she wants to go to the dance and there's a boy she thinks is really cute, but he rejects her and she has a horrible time. And right after that, um, she talked it out with Rose, which probably made her feel a lot better. I made sure to check her sexuality this time. We didn't want another Isabella incident on our hands. Um, and Rose really didn't like her walk for some reason, um, which made Deja kind of concerned. And it, it turns out it's probably because she was getting so old. She died of old age at 15, which I would assume is pretty heart-wrenching. I know I never forgot the first pet. Um, that I lost as a child like that is really awful and she also just got rejected from the dance which is extra sad um, there's another guy that she thinks about going out with but she decides not to go for it because she doesn't want to be rejected again um, I figured she'd visit the animal shelter and maybe try to get another pet since it's been a year and she's probably grieved pretty well Pip the alley cat looks really, really cute um, and is quite smart, so I thought she'd be a perfect fit. But Deja's parents said no, um, so Deja got really mad and insulted her mom. Um, but then she mourned her cat and realized that she was just feeling bad about Rose's death. Um, so things got back to normal with her family. Um, she asked for money so that she could go to the gym and her father gave her one dollar, which is not gonna cut it. Um, so clearly Deja is gonna have to go out into the world and make her own money. She spends the next few months asking for pets and turning down boys that she thinks will reject her. And it gets to a point where she realizes she's old enough where she could potentially pay the adoption fee herself, but unfortunately, since she can't get a job in high school and because her parents are so stingy and also very poor, um, she's not going to be able to pay for that until she's probably got her own job. She passes the driving test easily. Man, these questions are easy. <laughs> um, and then when she's coming out of the library, she meets a guy named Virgil Strange, and I decide that by this point, she's probably willing to take another chance, and he does want to go out with her, so that's really nice. Um, Virgil has quite a cool name, which is primarily the reason I had her go for it, but apparently he's not that smart because he immediately impregnates us. Um, since she only has one dollar in her bank account, I decide to not have her have the baby, um, and she somehow, some way, probably due to financial need I guess, gets a scholarship to pay for her university, so things are getting back on track. Despite that rough start with Virgil, um, we have a very good relationship with him. Unfortunately though, until she's out of college, she still won't be able to get any pets. And that's probably good because the adoption fee is only the beginning of how much pets cost. Um, once she graduates, I figured she'd want to get right into the workforce. Um, I had her try a few different jobs. Um, a lot of them turned her down. Uh, strangely enough, the lobbyist position accepted her, so she's a lobbyist now. Not exactly what I had pictured for her, but at least now she has a really good steady income so she can support another pet. So now she has a Sharpay named Bandit. Trying to be as responsible a pet owner as she can, she takes Bandit to the vet, and it seems like Bandit is in good shape. 
She might have some behavioral problems though because she attacks Deja after her bath, which is a bit of an issue, but something they could work on. Other than that though, things are going very smoothly for Deja until she realizes that she's pregnant again. I decided to have her keep the baby because she's in a position to give that baby a good life. And to add even more stability, um, I decided to have her propose to Virgil. He said yes, and um, they are getting along swimmingly. Uh, she also got a pay raise, so really everything is going quite well. Um, her daughter, I decided to name Acorn. I just think that it's such a cute name. Uh, Acorn Strange is probably pretty rough as a name uh, once you get out of uh, babyhood but um, she'll 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 figure it out and maybe we gave her a normal middle name so that she can work with that if she doesn't like acorn uh, Virgil is willing to sign a prenup which is really nice because he makes basically no money and I decided to change her last name because I think strange is a lot cooler of a name than Zuckerberg it was at about this point that I figured that we probably needed a home, so I decided to get them a cozy little cottage, plenty of room for both the dog and the baby. Obviously, I vaccinate her. I have her go clubbing where she gets propositioned by some guy named Malcolm, who we turned down immediately because so far she's living a very wholesome life and I'm not about to ruin that for a guy named Malcolm. She decides to adopt another pet and then starts to realize that maybe her heart isn't in being a lobbyist. She really loves animals, so she starts looking for a job that could be more related to something like that. She ends up finding a really cool beekeeper job, which actually accepts her. Um, so even though the salary is like a quarter of what she was being paid before, it definitely makes her a lot happier. Deja is peacefully living her best life, spending a lot of time with her pets and her family, when suddenly her father dies of a stroke, as well as Bandit dies from old age, um, which is a real kick in the teeth to get two major deaths in one year. So despite her promotion, she is miserable. Shortly after that, Atticus actually escapes, but she finds him right away and she checks him in at the vet to make sure that nothing happened to him out there. He does have ringworm, but the doctor clears that right up for him. Atticus still manages to die though from eating chemicals that were left out. Um, extremely depressed, Deja tries to go clubbing to cheer herself up and she gets assaulted by some random guy in the club who's being mean to her. He escapes um, before the police can arrive and Deja is at zero health and happiness so things are looking really bad. The one thing she does have is money, so I decided to send her on a vacation to Singapore. Of course I brought Virgil an acorn, and um, it was pretty expensive, but we had a really good time. And I decided that they would actually emigrate to Singapore because they enjoyed it so much. Um, of course we brought our whole family, and we decided to start a new life there. The first thing she did was find an animal shelter and check out the pets. Of course we had to get soybean, what a cute name for a little white cat. And in the first major conflict of our whole relationship, Virgil doesn't like soybean, which Deja is not having any of. Um, but uh, after that, it seems like things are back to normal. She wants to try to go to veterinary school because um, her dream was to work with animals, but none of the schools accept her except for graduate school. She decides to instead hop into the lobbyist position again to make a little bit extra money. The stress of it gives her kidney stones, but she tries to relieve that stress by giving some of her new salary to Acorn um, to make up for the fact that her parents never gave her any money. Uh, she adopts a new cat named Squinch who's crazy and attacks her, um, so that might not have been the best decision. And since she started adopting more cats, she tries to talk to Virgil to make sure that he's okay with it. Um, he's being kind of standoffish, so she just gives him a thousand dollars and he appreciates it a lot. Too bad she didn't record it to make it a YouTube video of people reacting to me giving them a thousand dollars. She could have made all that money back. Anyway, she's got to deal with this staph infection and when she goes to the doctor, she realizes that she never got her kidney stones fixed, which is uh, pretty bad. That's way too long to have kidney stones. Um, but unfortunately, the doctor that she's been visiting cannot do anything about the kidney stones, so she's going to have to deal with them for a little while longer. Um, as usual, she goes to the uh, Humane Society, or I guess Animal Shelter, um, and she finds another cat that she loves, Christian the cat. He's very 
very cute. Um, she then finds a purse which she returns and she gets $70 from the owner so that's some good karma for her right there. She decides to use that $70 betting at the horse tracks but the lowest bet you can place is $5,000. Uh, she's already there though so she decides to go for a Kemper Tantrum which is a really funny name for a horse. I'm a little bit worried about it because I know that sometimes spouses get mad when you lose money gambling, but by some miracle, Kemper Tantrum actually wins and she ends up making like $20,000 on that bet. Um, so I honestly would expect her to get um, a gambling addiction right after that because what a lucky first gamble. I finally get rid of her kidney stones and try to sell our cottage back in the United States since we're not there anymore, but for some reason nobody wants it even though it's in really good condition. I do get them a bigger townhome this time just so that there's more space for Acorn to run around now that she's not a little baby and since we have so many cats at this point. Um, I decide to get her a rabbit as well because I just feel like she's such a crazy animal person at this point that every couple years she needs a new pet. The rabbit's name was originally Fluffy, I changed it to Beach, I just thought it was cuter. Once again, when we go clubbing, someone starts arguing with us, um, but luckily this time he didn't like rip into us and like physically assault us, um, so that's good. Honestly, I wasn't trying to make Deja so like vanilla, cookie cutter, and wholesome, but she has such a terrible time at the club, um, so I feel like that's just the path that she's ending up going down. She says no to drugs. Um, I didn't want her to die. Sometimes that happens when you try a new drug. Um, and Xanax is, I mean, abusing prescription drugs is pretty serious. Um, she goes back to the United States to spend a little more time with her mother as her mom's really getting up there in years. And once again, she tries to apply to some other schools, but they just keep saying she's not qualified for whatever reason. So um, it seems like maybe you have to go to graduate school first, or maybe you have to be younger. I'm not really sure why she's getting rejected from all of these. Uh, she now has enough money to enroll in graduate school and pay in cash. And apparently Squinch keeps rubbing up against our legs when we're busy, but I don't really consider that a behavioral problem. That's just something cats do to be affectionate. Um, and then Squinch dies at the age of 17, a good long life. To add insult to injury, BitLife then shows me this ad that's like, usually I would cut these out, but like this is the most preposterous looking ad I've ever seen. It's like you're you're gonna have a baby and like you scroll through a bunch of guys including like a gladiator what is happening anyway uh so she tries to go to veterinary school after finishing graduate school and it still doesn't work so apparently it's something to do with age or something but she really doesn't want to go back to being a lobbyist so i have her become a marine biologist which is a pretty fun animal related job then Deja has another rough year where she loses both her mother, who died of natural causes, as well as a sudden pregnancy in her 40s, which is shocking. She keeps the baby and then loses Soybean, which is heartbreaking because this is one of my favorite cats of the playthrough. So I decided to name her new son Soybean, in memory of Soybean the cat. I'm sure he won't mind. Soybean Strange is a perfectly fine name. <laughs> Uh, we call Virgil Dapper and are having a pretty good later sort of midlife situation. Christian dies, our cat and Peach, um, and basically we're just being haunted by death. So again, despite our promotion, we're feeling really sad right now. I wanted to look back at all of her pets. She's had so many. Um, looking through it, they all lived really long, good lives. The only one I think that died possibly of our fault was um, Atticus who ate those chemicals we left out. I'm not sure what that could have been. Right as she's starting to feel better from all these loss of pets and family, um, her neighbor's house catches fire. And honestly, I was not sure what to do. I paused on the screen for a long time because I felt like it might be a situation where she could potentially get killed. But I also felt like, especially because she's lost so many people, if she hears someone in real distress who might die, um, if someone doesn't come in and rescue them fast enough, that she would probably go in there and try and do the right thing and save her neighbor and this is ultimately what killed her. Deja Strange died at 47. Um, she got trapped in the house uh, and she perished so that's really unfortunate. I guess it's better to call the emergency responders. <laughs> um, so yeah she had a pretty good life. I've never seen this little hero banner before so that's pretty neat. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Draw My Bit Life. It was a little less eventful and definitely less long than Isabella, who lived to quite an old age. 
Um, but yeah, I hope you guys had a good time. Let me know if you want me to do any more of these. And uh, other than that, I will see you next time. Thank you to all of my patrons, including Bella Story, Blue Boy, Calpum Pong, Caramel TV, Clockwork Construct, Dionysus Hadrilis, Dr. Casket, Elizabeth Album, Hope Chilsome, Imagine Creations, JJ Jade, Joseph Copel, Carla Tapia, Katie Marigold, Kira Jadert, Le Bla Bla Bla, Megan Claire, Midnight Doodles, Micah Dactyl, Musa Dear Rachel, Nora Cornelson, Okamore, Ollie, Rosie Warlock, Sergeant Pendulum, Tony and Tube, The Artsy Moose, Tyler, Your Boy ST, and Zoe Sardust.